In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate eta squared with one-way ANOVA test. So let's pretend that you just performed the ANOVA test and you created this ANOVA table. And from this table, you found out that you must reject the null hypothesis. And you reject it in favor of the alternative. This is where eta squared comes in. If an ANOVA test is performed and it has been established that a significant difference in means exist, we then want to figure out how much variation in the data is due to the treatments. So we use the following statistic to find the ratio of variation due to the treatments, which is this part of the ANOVA table to the total variation. Here's what I mean. The ratio is a comparison, and this is the Greek letter. The number you see right here, 423.329, over the total, which is 673.329. And the value should always be between 0 and 1. So let me write that down. Let's go ahead and calculate this. We have 423.329 divided by 673.329. We get the value 0 0.628 approximately. 0.6287. Values of eta squared closer to 1 imply that more variation in the data is due to the treatments. Now remember, you do not perform this test if you do not reject the null hypothesis. And in relation to this value, about 63% of the variation that we found in the groups came as a result of the factor that was in focus for this ANOVA test.